All right. Hello, guys. This is Louis from Shiaoke Gaming. I want to make a little bit of a rant real quick uh, regarding current political climate and recent political events that have been happening. Uh, as we all know, Joe Biden is now our uh, president. After the election was raided, he was uh, cheated in to the, sp to the, sp to the spot. So, uh, I mean, hey, may not have won fairly and legitimately, but he's still the president, and so he still has presidential power. So, what he's done so far. First of all, it, after a month about now, but yeah, about a month, if you still think that Biden is doing a good job, well, I'm here to tell you that the simple answer is that you're wrong. He has been, he has already shut down the Keystone Pipeline, uh, which destroyed millions or thousands, actually, sorry, thousands of jobs. Uh, as he said he wasn't going to do, he said he wasn't going to destroy the jobs. He destroyed the jobs like Trump said he would. So there's a lie from Biden, and also he just destroyed a bunch of jobs. Um, he has already can uh, canceled funding for the rest of the border wall. So now criminals, are, even the little spots are just being finished up. So now the uh, you know the, all the immigrants are going to come in and take our jobs again. And uh, all the criminals, MS-13, all those places are going to be smuggling in things and bringing in child, bad stuff. It's all bad stuff. Um, he is pushing his, uh, he's pushing his, uh, gun agenda to, he's, it's, it's starting to creep up on us, y'all. He's getting ready to ban guns. Uh, I know good Americans will not be giving up their guns, but, uh, but, He's definitely he's definitely preparing to make to make gun owners felons uh, unless they give up their guns, which I I don't think I think many people are going to be smarter than that. Uh, I know he has. Uh, yeah. Okay. He has. Uh, he bombed Syria, which I can kind of understand that. I mean. They did some stuff to us, and like they've been doing stuff to us for a while, but at the same time, that kind of shows he's trying to get us back into that whole big war. Um, yes, he is already. I don't know. He might be sending our troops back. I don't know. He signed a bunch of executive orders to do a bunch of corrupt things. Uh, like you're not meant to sign that many executive orders in your first week of office, and yet he did. And uh. Yeah, I'm just, man, my chin's big, dude, or whatever, <laughs> a neck, but, uh, and honestly, the worst is yet to come, he has, he's still pushing his, uh, electric car, uh, carbon-free agenda, which will decimate our automotive, auto industry, the people who make gas engines for a living, the UAW, supported him, backed him. I don't know why the people who are making a living, feeding their families off of gas engines are su supported the man, voted for the man who wants to get rid of them. That just, that drives me, that blows my mind. And you can, we don't have the infrastructure for electric cars. That's just not something that we have. Uh, we just, he is also talking about, I think, did he ever repeal the Trump tax cuts? I'm not exactly sure if he did yet, but that's going to raise our taxes. Um, uh, my parents have been have said, you know, drug or not drug prices, uh, gas prices are already starting to get higher. Like with Trump, you know, gas prices got lower, um, but no, they're starting to get higher now. Uh, his COVID trillion dollar plan involves the fifteen dollar minimum wage, which means either a, well, that's a lot of money, <laughs> and also, um. If you're going to raise the minimum wage, you're probably going to have to raise the price on everything. So that means, A, people like my, either A, people like my dad, who are like hard workers who make a decent pay, are going to be screwed. Um, or B, hit, my dad's pay will also go up with the minimum wage and stuff, along with the increasing prices of things. Like, and everybody's wage. Everybody's wage will just go up. Everyone's wage. The minimum wage goes up. Every wage goes up. Prices also have to go up then because money's worth less once you start printing out more money and giving it to people. So then the minimum wage thing is either a good like hard hard like you know workers who are making a you know doing good in their career making putting food on the table are getting screwed 
or it's just a big waste of time and a waste of money. And the trillion dollar plan, man, it's like, here's the problem I have. Two trillion dollars. He went to Michigan, uh, like about maybe a week ago, and he went to like the W, the C, C, and whatever it was, um, CDC place, or it might have been the World Health Organization place or something, I don't know. And he spoke there. He mentioned, he listed off a few of the things that he was going to include in the plan. He was like, well, what should I cut? Should we not put a billion into this, billion into that? He only listed off like a, a total of like maybe, a, a, I don't know, like 900 billion. That was like what the plan Trump had was, I'm pretty sure. Um, something like that. Where's that other billion going or trillion going? Well, I want to know. Uh, it's likely going to foreign countries to do all that crap they wanted to do before. Uh, and not to mention, dude, he's like, he's not going to try to hold China accountable for this virus, dude. He's not going to do it. And not to mention just also the cancel culture that's happening amongst the, among the Democrats. Uh, they're trying to cancel Mike Lindell. They're trying to cancel, uh, Gina Carano, uh, that, the uh, Cara from the Mandalorian. That is bull crap. Trying to cancel, uh, the Goya Foods. Trying to cancel tr the Trump family themselves. Trying to cancel uh, Abraham Lincoln, uh, Dr. Seuss now. I couldn't believe Mr. Potato Head. They're trying to gender neutralize him. Uh, they've got, speaking of gender, they've got like apparently horn hormone blockers now to so that boys can stay, can be, just be considered girls because their hormone blockers do stuff. Their things don't get bigger. Uh, that's another thing I just hate. The trans thing, dude. <laughs> it's not good. Um, especially... They do that to a little kid. It's a kid's man. It's just kind of child abuse. And that's another thing, too. Biden wants to allow men into women's sports. That's going to destroy women's sports because no matter which way you put it, men were built with, like, most most men. I'm pr mo The majority of men are going to be stronger than women, like, physically. I hate to say it. I'm sorry, feminists. But that's just the truth. That's just how God made our bodies. Um... That so that's gonna be another thing. If he lets trans into women's sports, he'll destroy women's sports. There, uh, he. That's all I can think of for now. But there's still much more after that. I'm sure, and I'm not. And what I'm also wondering is, you know, he wants to ban guns. Let me show y'all. Yeah. How do you think Biden feels about these? Do you think he's going to want to ban these because they're, you know, they make you want to shoot at people? Do you think he might ban these? I'm not getting mine up if he does. But I'm just wondering. It got me thinking. Do you think maybe he'll ban those because they incite violence amongst uh, younger people and older people, too? Older people play with Nerf guns. got Nerf Rival. This is a Nerf Rival. got Nerf Rivals. It's just a little rubber band shooter. It's cool. Uh, but, yeah, y'all, there's just... This Biden's presidency is not a good thing. He is not. He has been. I. I. I'd much rather him as part, just do what he's done for the past forty-seven years in the Senate. Just do nothing. I'd rather that than him do something. And here's the thing. I can't. There's many people who I've stopped watching. You know, watching and supporting due to this. I stopped watching Casey Neistat. Because he just he's a bit of a d bag. His political opinion is just so is just so corrupt. Uh, J Jerry rig everything. I stopped Zach. I stopped watching him, uh, and I used to watch him quite a bit. I unsubscribed from MKBHD and I Justine. Uh, you know those. You know all these big tech tech YouTubers and just big YouTubers. Uh, I I never even watched them much, but I've subscribed to him. I unsubscribe. I don't watch him anymore. Uh. But the problem is, there's good YouTubers who I really enjoy, who I just couldn't give up because of this. Like, I know Flossie Carter, he's another tech of here. I'm pretty sure he supports Biden because he's following, he was following Biden's Instagram, I saw, but not Trump's. So, I think it's safe to say who he supports. And then I know Adam Savage, he said, like, all oh, January 6th, our democracy was under siege. No, uh, Antifa was trying to make the Republicans look bad. That's nothing about democracy, our, our, our cheated democracy under siege, yeah, bro, yeah, but I can't stop watching him, I mean, I haven't watched him as much, but he, Adam Savage is a cool guy, he's a lot, he gives, gave me a, he's really a motivation for me to make things and whatnot, so I couldn't stop watching him fully, 
I don't know, because it's just like, I don't want to support these bad people, but at the same time, I do. I've got an Apple phone, I've got, I use Google, I use, I drink Coca-Cola, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm more white, or I'm less white, <laughs> because I drink Coca-Cola. Um, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Um, I just don't know, man, it's just, I, I know this is just a bit of a random, but I know it's kind of a bit random, but that's a rant, that's what a rant is. I'm just worried, man. I'm really worried about what the next four years has. I'm looking forward to the midterms to see what we're going to do. But then again, I'm also worried about if they can cheat this election, are the Republicans ever going to win again? Are we going to ever win the Senate again, the House? Are we ever going to have another Republican president? Because if they can cheat it this bad, this easily, and get away with it, and let it fly right under the radar. Well, it didn't really fly under the radar, but it was like no one, everybody thought Trump was just a nut. When he, when he said this, I believe him. I believe him, dude. He presented, I saw dang good evidence. The voter, honestly, the mail-in voting is a big thing. Just that alone. They really like to, you know, that's much easier to corrupt and rig and take, add ballots and take out ballots. Um, it's just, I'm really worried, dude. It's, were we ever going to have another Republican president? I don't know. I hope so. Well, I hope, like, maybe Trump runs again, maybe. He'll be, like, 78, though. I'm really not sure, dude. Well, he said he might. Um, but, uh, maybe one of his kids was like, maybe uh, Candace Owens, maybe. Ted Cruz, he might, like, one of my favorite senators. I would vote for him any day, although I don't vote. Um, no, I'm, I'm a kid. Man, I don't know. I'm just, I'm really worried. And the fact that, also, he's keeping this, he's got the masks mandated, the vaccines he's trying to get everybody to take. What I'm worried about is, is this vaccine going to become like the mark of the beast? Are you going to have to have this vaccine? Because the thing is, I can survive COVID, okay? But I don't know what this vaccine that was whipped up in like, what, eight months? Is going to is gonna do like five, ten years down the line for me. Every five, ten years down the line, are you going to see them big commercials? Like, if you, are, if you took the COVID-19 vaccine and have had uh, anal leakage or cancer... <laughs> Uh, what we'll call this number? You'll be my. You might be entitled to compensation. Compensation. Is in my. I don't want to take the vaccine. I just don't want to take a vaccine that's been whipped up like that. I tend to avoid most vaccines, honestly. Hey, well, like HPV vaccine, I don't take that one. Uh, I'm not gonna go into all the vaccines that I do and don't take. Y'all don't need to know about all that. And the thing is, I'm just worried about like. The masks, too. Well, actually, the masks aren't as big a deal anymore for me. Because I learned that you can just, uh... I have a mask right here for reference. I have a couple masks right here for reference. Uh, two. I learned for, uh, that you can just kind of... Do this. And they don't they don't say anything at the stores. You have to do it like this. Screw that. Do it like this. I shouldn't have done that. I apologize, folks. Mommy watches like crazy about this. That was just a little bit of a... Uh, I was getting a little carried away. Just wear it like this, folks. That's all you gotta do. And trust me, I I learned the idea from my grandpa up north, and he was wearing it. Get this off. It is still kind of annoying to wear, but not as bad now. Uh, and look, it it always hangs on my earbud. I could keep it on my earbud like this while I'm like outside, maybe in a store. But then I, I need you in like a building. Just whip it on. That'd be that's that's. Should, I've been thinking about doing that, but nah, I don't know. But yeah, I learned that idea from my grandpa when I went up north. I started doing that because he was doing that. And hey, that's much better. And they don't say anything about north. They don't say anything about here. Other states, they might be a little more strict. But my state has, uh, my state's governor is Gretchen uh, Hitler. So I think that's then our state's going to be one of the more stricter states about this. Um, but I'm worried about the fact that I can't go see my dang friends. I mean, here's the thing I could, like, say I wanted to, you know, let's say I wanted to go meet up with Faith, I could. Mainly, I'm waiting for the weather to get warmer, we to go hang out. But, uh, but I shouldn't have said that, because there are people who, okay, never mind. Uh, well, if you don't, if, hey, if you don't like us together, you know you are. Screw you. Again, shining on that. Uh, sorry. Basically, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of, I'm worried. I'm real worried, and you should be too. And honestly, if you voted for Biden, and you and you see how bad things are in the next four years, someone's gonna make that to a gift when I get popular. If, um, if I get popular, I hope I do. Um, yeah, that's I. Yeah, if I hope you see what you did to yourself in your country, because uh, it's already he's already showing his true colors. I, his, he already has before, but he's been trying to cover it up. 
Not so much anymore. <laughs> All right, so thank y'all for the uh, for uh, bearing my little rant. My uh, next video, well, my video is actually out right now. I have a new, a new video out right now. Uh, well, depending on how long this update it takes to load, upload, but I'm recording on my phone, so it should be fine. Uh, and I. Uh, should, do you want, these GTA 5 episodes don't take too much hassle to edit. I just need to cut out things here and there. I'm not going to do too much fancy editing with this because there's just no reason to for the kind of videos I do. Um, when I start to get, if I can get like a job ever and get like a, cost, a straight, a steady, you know, an actual income, like a established, relatively established income, I'll like maybe start buying like little, just like mess around games and make little 10 minute videos like I should be doing and then live stream these long games but since this one doesn't take too long to uh edit do y'all want me to see like Monday and Friday uploads for this uh this series and maybe other series depending on like I'll depend on like how long it takes me to edit like kind of each different kinds of games uh let me know if y'all like to see that because that would that'd be cool too and maybe uh increase my upper upload you know rate a bit because he'd say uh, every Monday's a little a little under there, man. Uh, but, yeah. Um, uh, let me know what you think of that. But, yeah, y'all. I just wanted to run a little rave. Hope y'all hope y'all were able to bear that. Well, no, that doesn't even matter, dude. Uh, yeah, just peace out. <laughs>